Hey there, so if you are a student, giving presentations is kind of a way of life. It's something that you're gonna have to do no matter what. And you'll have to continue doing it after you finish school, so it's a good idea to learn how to give really good presentations as a student. Now, I realize that most students hate giving presentations, so what I discovered when I used to hate giving presentations as a student was a couple of ways to make that process a lot more enjoyable and also make the presentation a lot more effective. And most important of all, I figured out a way to make a really great impression on teachers and my classmates. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to impress your teachers and your classmates with your presentation. Hey there, my name is Carl Kwan, and on this channel, you're gonna learn some tips, tricks, and how-tos on how to give great presentations. So make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. All right, so there are five things that I wanna talk about that'll help you give really great presentations and really make a good impression on your teachers and your classmates. The first thing that is really important is to make sure that you prepare early. I realize I'm gonna sound like your parent when I tell you you gotta prepare early, but really, if you don't prepare early, you're not gonna have time to learn the material, you're not gonna feel confident, you're just gonna be scrambling, and that, honestly, is not going to create a good impression because you're gonna go into the class, you're gonna give your presentation, the teachers and the classmates, they're gonna know that you're not prepared. You wanna make sure that you prepare early so you're confident, you know exactly what you're doing, and you have time to make sure that you get the presentation right. The second thing that'll help you create a great impression with your teachers and your classmates when you're giving your presentation is to know the presentation's goal. Now, some of those goals might be to educate, it might be to argue a certain point, it might be to give an opinion. Whatever that goal is, make sure that you're very clear about what you're supposed to do so that when you give that presentation and when you're preparing the presentation, you'll know what to focus on. The third thing you have to do is you have to know the material. I mentioned this a little bit at the beginning for the first tip, but it's really important to understand the material very well. You have to know exactly what the details are because you need to be able to dig into that material in order to find something that is going to help you in the next tip. So the fourth thing you have to do in order to create a great impression with your presentation is to now find something in that material that might be kind of funny, that might be kind of unique. It's anything that you think that your audience is going to think, yeah, that's actually kind of cool or that's kind of funny. It should be something that is not necessarily obvious. So let me give you a little example about how you can find something fun or unique to talk about. When I was in high school, I gave a presentation about Napoleon, the dictator. And what I did was I emphasized the word, you know, dick in dictator. And because we're in high school, that made it kind of funny. However, what I also made sure I did was I made sure that the rest of the presentation was actually good because although that little funny kind of comment with the with the words there with the with the dick and dictator that was funny but it didn't mean that the presentation was going to be any good I had to make sure that the content was also good so that the teacher would be impressed and yes they were laughing but they were also impressed by what I was talking about so it's not just about finding something funny and unique but you also have to make sure that it's relevant and that you actually make the presentation good all right the final thing you need to do in order to impress your teachers and your classmates with your presentation presentations is to practice. I cannot emphasize this enough. If you don't practice, you're not going to give an impressive presentation, believe me. So what can you do? First, it's a great idea to get your phone out to film yourself giving the presentation. That way you're going to be able to check how long the presentation is. You're also going to be able to see your own body language and how you are standing. Are you moving around a lot? Are you confident? You're also gonna watch for something with your facial expression. You don't wanna be giving the presentation like this. You wanna make sure that your face is engaged, that you are smiling, that you are using your body language and your facial expressions appropriately. Obviously, if it is a somber, not so happy topic, you don't want your face to be all happy and goofy. But you wanna make sure that if you, it is something interesting or you're just trying to talk like I am now, you wanna make sure that you're engaged, you wanna make sure that your intonation, your voice tone, and your facial expressions all match with what you are talking about in your presentation. And there you have it. That is how you can impress your teachers and your classmates with your presentation. So let me go through those five things that I just talked about. First, you need to prepare early. Second of all, you need to know your presentation goal. Third, you need to know the material. Fourth, 
Find something fun or unique within the material that you can talk about and focus on. And number five, you want to make sure that you practice and give yourself enough time to practice. Now that you've learned how to impress your teachers and your classmates with your presentations, it's your turn now to go out there and practice. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about that and also how you did. And finally, make sure you like and share this video if it at all helped you out and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.